Hey guys, it's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and I am in my car. I just left a Dollar Tree that I don't ever go to, but I'm a huge, 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 let me just give you a little backstory here. I'm a huge Big Lots fan. I freaking love Big Lots. And I found a uh, Big Lots that's about 20 minutes from my house. They're not super popular, like within Metro Atlanta, but they're, they're more so outside of Atlanta. So, um... Decatur, Georgia has a Big Lots off of Candler Road. Then I looked and on the other side of the parking lot, there's a Dollar Tree. I can come, I'm gonna hold my phone, sorry. I'll put it on my steering wheel. We'll try that. So I can um, come to this Dollar Tree or to this Big Lots and then have either a Big Lots or a Dollar Tree to also go shopping. Now. I went to both, yeah, and uh, I, I needed some Christmas stuff, so um, to kind of go with my red and black theme, but this is what's really cool. This, and I know I'm rambling, so sorry, fast forward or don't watch the video. Um, I found such good stuff at this Dollar Tree. Now, it's, it's not a huge haul, but it's like some of the hard to find stuff or stuff that we thought was gone, and it's not. All right, first thing I found. These are the 18 inch wreath forms. I have not found these at any store in Atlanta. And these are the 18 inch. Somebody just drove by and looked at me like I'd lost my mind. <laughs> um, 18 inch wreath forms. So I bought three of them and they had, they had a ton. I probably should have got like six of them. Um, and then, I don't know if you've seen these wood signs or not at your store but they've all got these different great sayings on them, but people are taking these and they're um, kind of making that, you know, that nautical rope shelf that a lot of people are doing or, but they were using those kind of Dollar Tree wood plaques and they're just not very um, sturdy. Hello? Like you can take, if you wanted to do a really thin shelf, like for maybe fragrances or something, you could use this in the bathroom with the nautical rope and do that rope string. I'm gonna make this. Um, it's not going to go in my bathroom, but I don't know, actually, I don't know where it's going to go, but, um, this is going to be really cool. And this is like, this is wood. This is not the press stuff. This is not the fake wood. This is wood. And so I bought three of those and I bought them all in black. Cause I'm going to do like a black kind of, um, industrial looking, you know, shelf with the rope and, and those. And I, I honestly, they're long. So I may end up cutting them and making like one long one. You know what I thought would be really cool? I don't have room for it, but it's just my brain working. What if you had like a spice rack, right? And my kitchen is like an industrial farmhouse kitchen. And those things are wide enough that you could totally put spices on that, right? Oh my God, so many possibilities. What I'm actually going to do though, I think, is I'm going to cut them in half. And then I have three of these. So then I'll have six pieces. And I'm going to glue three and three together so I have really thick shelves. And then I only have two thick shelves. And then you literally drill a hole in the middle of them and string your rope. And it's, it's amazing. There will be a video for that one for sure. Um, the other thing. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thought they were gone. I thought I'd never find them again. And I even like grabbed the Dollar Tree employee that was in the aisle and I was like, when did you get these? Have you always had these? What, like, are these brand new? Are they coming back? What's going on? Y'all, if you are in Atlanta, you need to go to Decatur, Georgia, go to the Dollar Tree that's on Candler Road and you will find they probably had 30 of these. Thousands! They, have every single shape and size, the talls, the mediums, everything. And I bought like, I think I bought four of them. Um, just to stock my, my closet at home because hello, like I'm gonna use those things. Um, I went into this Dollar Tree hoping to find a wreath, but they didn't have any wreaths, you know, the evergreen wreath forms. Um, because I want to put something around my lamp post at home. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is using 
this sign. Sorry, I'm trying to hold my phone and work. But I'm gonna use this sign and hang it outside around the lamppost. I'm probably gonna make this a little bit longer. That way it goes around the neck of the lamppost, you know? And then I'm gonna put a red bow on the top of it. And I think you hear the jingling. I'll do like one of these on there or something. I think that'll be nice. And then uh, this is the only other thing that I saw that I hadn't seen before. And I don't, I don't know why, maybe I've just overlooked it, but it's like a little dry erase board. But what's cool about it is it's on an easel back. Pretty cool, right? But I think what I'm gonna do with it is I'm going to decoupage fabric on this and then do an ornament treatment on top. I was actually looking for the Dollar Tree canvases, but this one doesn't have any of them. Um, I was looking for the stretch canvas versus the, um, you know, the smaller canvases. And then what is this? Oh, and then this is just another wood black kind of a thing. I thought this could be cool to also uh, put some fabric on, decoupage it, and maybe do like an ornament on top of it or something. So I'm going to play around with that. I have not decorated, um, I've not put up my tree yet. So that's also a big focus for me today and to get the house done. And um, I did the front porch. Hopefully you saw that video. If not, please go watch it because I love my front porch. And then I, I did my mantle. Um, I didn't do a video on my mantle though, but I might just do a quick like, here's my mantle tour. But uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that after I put the tree up because then I'll have the tree and then everything else done. So we'll give you a, a tour of that. But anyway, that's my haul. It's, it, I mean, there's some, there's like cookies in there, but you don't need to see those. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, just for the 18 inch wreath forms and those wood plaques and those houses, that was worth coming out here and big lots. I bought um, a bunch of ornaments and a tree skirt and um, I think some command hooks or something like that at, at Big Lot. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm in a good mood today. I went out last night with some friends and just had a good time. So anyway, hope you had a great Thanksgiving and um, continue to have a fantastic holiday. And uh, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will talk with you later. All right, bye. I'm going to put the top down today because it's like 65 degrees. It'll feel like a sleigh ride, I think. All right, bye.